Hey up, Biduk. How's it going? Well, sun is shining outside. As soon as I, there's only one way to get me in a better mood is give me some cards and chips in front of me, and I feel like I'm smiling from inside. Uh, I think he will really, really appreciate what has been done by Dusteldon and especially Rob Young, Simon Tramper and the crew, party poker of course, but for the effort that they make and still make, most of the time it's like he's gone and forgotten and he should not be because he was extremely personality in the poker scene. People don't realize what it is to have people riding up the game making more life, talking with people instead of being on the phone and you know it's like it's taking out the the fun part of the game. You want to have people associate with each other making fun. I remember wearing a tie and he was Devilfish was wearing a tie and then one day I see him doing putting his chips on his tie and then he put the tie in the middle and he said, the runaway train is coming and he does, he does. And he put all his chips in because he had the nuts and the guy was bluffing him. You know, it was so funny to play with him and have him around. You miss him. That's, that's true. In this particular case, I, I want Simon Trumper to win, very obvious. Uh, but the field is still very aggressive. The youngsters are playing aggressive, they play to the odds and calculation. And Simon is a more calculated player. He's probably the best player here live. I don't say online with these guys, but live he's probably the best player from knowledge, experience. But all you need is a few cards sometimes if you go guard it. So I hope Simon, of course, and I'm rooting for him, but it could be anybody's game. Everybody can have a good run, but can you last like Simon and then you double at the right moment? You must be lucky to get a hand, but when you last like sometimes you must get a hand, make it through, make it through, come back, fight for it. Only weakness Simon has is that he has to do his work between Twitter, send pictures. I would like him to have, pay more attention to his opponents to get to tell, to get to read on them, to get more in the game instead of... That's his weakness. Uh, everybody who's having a good mood and want to have fun, I, I don't mind. Uh, I love to have Phil Helmut on the table if I play because I can get along very well with Phil outside the table and on the table, but I love the way he's doing himself injustice, childish sometimes, and then he comes back on it 10 minutes later and, and he understands he did wrong and he excuses himself for that, but he keeps doing it. I mean, everybody's having a weakness and uh, he's just fun to play with because if you bluff him like 10 times, 9 times, he will fold his hand and he will jump up. How can you do it? He had a good hand and he complains he gets, and then you show him a bluff. But sometimes it goes wrong and you have a hand and he stops you. For a moment it was Rob Young himself. He was in playing in the tournament, obvious. And he was sitting across me, face on my same table. Which was nice, obvious, but he's very dominating in playing hands. I mean, he played one hand extremely well, but nobody would play that hand in the first place. A 9-3 offsuit with the three of diamonds, just calling a bet from the ace-ace king with two diamonds. I mean, he knew she was bluffing, but still then you don't have a hand to stop it. But he did. He made a flush with the three eventually, he got all the money. And he just called three bets all the way. And I know what the plan was, but it was... It's, you don't see too many players doing that, so it was... Uh, very interesting and it gives him only more credit for his gameplay.